This morning I woke up and I chose peace. I chose peace over resentment and I chose discomfort over resentment as well. This is all about boundaries. This is all about deciding that actually every negative energy of suffering is a choice. It's actually a choice. Let me explain. So I lead a mastermind group and a mastermind essentially is a group of people coming together where yes, there's somebody that is leading the group, maybe steering the group, but also the people that are within it are integral and in fact it's like an ecosystem it's the, it's the combination that's that's what makes the magic in a mastermind because everybody brings to the table different skills but also like yeah it's the collective that makes the magic so the group was halfway through a 12-week cycle of calls i'd noticed like a shift in the energy and from my part i just felt this resentment creeping in I just started to feel this resentment creeping in. And this is fully on me. This is absolutely 100% fully on me because I'm leading that group and I need to decide not only what I can bring to the table, but what feels like a clean energetic exchange. And so as I felt this resentment starting to build yesterday, I was like, I have to do something about this. I, I have to decide to not feel resentful because I'm putting myself in this place I'm saying that I am available for it or do something about it. This is really like personal and professional boundaries 101. When people put boundaries in place, it is for the person putting the boundaries in place. It's not for the other people. It's your job to uphold, maintain and enforce your boundaries. And if you don't, how are other people gonna know what's okay and what's not okay they're, just, they're gonna follow your lead you set the tone so what i decided was if i'm feeling resentment i am allowing something within me to be crossed now in this particular instance the the people weren't i were, wasn't per se letting people cross my actual boundaries but there'd been the line of resentment had been crossed in terms of the exchange in terms of how much i was being paid given receiving all of those things it felt off and so I woke up this morning and I was like I have to have a courageous conversation I have to have the conversation where I talk about what I'm available for and what I'm not available for and what that has looked like today is I initially thought that I would suspend the continuation of calls in the group um i i also said to everybody in there like if you've got a better way forward on this like i'm all ears bring it to the table but for now it feels like as the leader of this mastermind i don't want to continue with these calls um in the current exchange and i'm going to give you all a refund i'm going to give the people that have paid to be in this group a refund and not just for the calls going forward that, that are not going to happen but for the ones that have come previously and as soon as I'd done that, I started to feel everything lift because I was no longer beholden to this like line of resentment that was essentially causing those feelings. When boundaries are crossed, that's on you. It is on you. If you feel resentment, that is a clue that a boundary has been crossed. You've allowed it though. You have allowed it to happen. So you either decide that you're going to continue to steep yourself in the feelings of resentment or you take courageous action. You decide that you are going to choose discomfort and the discomfort is speaking your truth. The discomfort is saying, actually, even though people have paid me already, I still don't have to put up with feeling resentful. Like, I don't have to feel this way just because I have being paid does not mean now I am available for things that I'm not available for. And so, I mean, the conversation in that group, predictably, because it's full of incredible human beings, was amazing. Like, they fully respected and understood my position. And I've issued the refunds. I feel completely different. I feel lighter. I could, the resentment has literally just evaporated. People on the other side of this may well be feeling all different feelings about it maybe they're disappointed maybe they're mad maybe they're upset maybe like i don't know because i can't get inside their head but what i can do is decide how i'm gonna lead myself through this situation 
and then they get to decide how they're going to lead themselves and it may be that they need to come back and have uncomfortable like conversations maybe they're feeling resentment maybe they need to shift from resentment through discomfort to get to their peace and i am available for all of it i am not scared of moving through those conversations you know i think also because I'm in there with a group of incredibly emotional, emotionally intelligent people. Um, and, you know, I can see how this can just go backwards and forwards to a point of resolution without it turning into a drama. It doesn't need to. So my question of the day is this. Where are you choosing resentment? Deep seated, possibly seething resentment deep down because you've been paid to do something and now you feel obliged and where are you choosing to sit in that resentment, to stick with that resentment because you don't want to have the discomfort of a courageous conversation? Where are you doing that? Anytime you feel resentment, you are basically doing something where a boundary has been crossed. And the only person that can uphold and enforce your boundaries is you by saying what you're available for and what you're not available for. And today I told people what I wasn't available for. And a bit like my post the other day, nobody died. Maybe people are gonna feel some feels and I'm, I'm ready to, to, to be a witness to that. But also I have to stand in my truth. Yeah. Today I woke up and I chose peace. Right, catch you in a bit, lots of love.